Put your hands in the air, in the air. Put your, put your hands in the air Nothing on that beat, oh. oh, Nana Look what you done started Oh, Nana Why you gotta act so naughty Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long, like literally so long. I know the last video I posted was my life update, um, but the last real video I made was probably two months ago so it's been a long time but I am so excited to finally tell you that I am back so I will be uploading every week like I was before um, my ankle is doing so much better as you can see I'm standing um, I have this backdrop now let me know if you guys like a white backdrop or if you like the um, just natural setting of my room better um, really interested to know. I know some people think that this is like too put together and too professional and people like more laid back videos. So just let me know what you guys think. Um, I also got lighting. So um, this is going to be way more of a high quality video than my past ones have been, which I'm wicked, wicked excited about. Um, I've been waiting for lighting for so long and thankfully I'm working with a company who has sent me the background and also sent me the lighting. So um, I just feel very blessed. I've been working on um, videos for FragranceNet.com or Fragrance.com, same thing. Um, they are one of the biggest fragrance e-commerce businesses uh, on the market today. And I'm just very excited to be working with them. So um, I ha behind the scenes, I have been making videos for them along with working on future plans for my channel um, and along with working my full-time day job. So I've it, there's been a lot going on, um, but I am just so excited to be back on here and making videos for you guys. Um, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that. I knew that I had to get a video up for you guys, and here it is. I wanted to do a um, monthly product video, which I've done a few of these on my channel already, and that's what I'm going to be doing today because I didn't get last month's products in there, so that's what I'm going to do. I have a few products to show you guys. Alright, so the first product I have to show you guys is an essential oil, and it's by uh, Rocky Mountain. The blend is called Purify. Uh, is it going to focus? Here we go, yeah, it's Purify by Rocky Mountain Oils. Um, they are very pure oils. I did a lot of research on them and I've also read a book all about essential oils. Let me grab that. Yes. So I have been reading this book, Essential Oils for Health, um, by Kimberly Kenniston. So she's certified and knows pretty much everything about oils. And they kind of, if, if you don't know much about essential oils, they are very, very complicated and in-depth and um, in order to make sure that you're being safe with them and uh, what you're using is safe to breathe in, you really should read a good book about essential oils because not all essential oils are good for you or really should be used. So um, I have, I've done so much research on essential oils and I can honestly tell you this is one of my favorite brands in the entire world. Uh, they work wonders. I have my... Um, essential oil purifier right here. Let me show you. Here it is. It is by the brand Aroma Soft. And um, I've also researched and looked up which essential oil purifier was the best one. There are so many on the market. It is insane. Um, but I wanted to get one that was really going to last me a long time. Uh, whether it was more money or not, I, I wasn't about the money. It was just about what was going to do its job the best safely and um, just the different options it comes with. So this actually lights up in a bunch of different colors and you can turn that on or off. Um, 
and you can set it to a light mist or a heavier mist, a continuous mist or a mist that kind of just happens every minute or so. Um, I always have it on continuous mist and I always put it on right before I go to bed and then it's, it's always off by the morning. Um, but my rum stays smelling like essential oils all day and it just calms me more than anything. Um, so it's just a really good natural way to get some sleep and to just feel good. It's one of those like self-help, easy, easy purchases to make really. Um, so I would highly recommend this. And this Purify Essential Oil is truly supposed to just purify your entire room. And um, it truly did that. Every single morning I would wake up feeling refreshed, extra happy, and just like rejuvenated. Um, and I give it all to this. <laughs> the next empty product I went through is this Yogi Green Tea, their Pure Green uh, selection. These I love because the tea bags come with quotes and the quotes are always very uplifting and kind of makes you think. Um, some of them might be relevant to your current moment and some of them may not be, um, but either way they're all very positive messages so they're always making my day every single time I read one it makes me think and it's just kind of good to get your brain going in the morning I always have hot tea in the morning and then I'll have iced tea throughout the day but if I don't have my cup of hot tea in the morning I am just not myself <laughs> drink green tea for your well-being please it's amazing for you the next empties I went through was this Lavanilla Sport Lux deodorant. I've mentioned this a couple times on my channel because I am so obsessed with it. Um, the smell is just so fresh yet um, sweet at the same time and it stays on, it lasts on me all day. I love it. It's my favorite vegan deodorant, so check it out. You can get it on Sephora.com. My next empty product is my favorite shampoo, Giovanni Too Chic uh, Tangerine and Papaya Butter Shampoo. It is my favorite shampoo because I have extremely oily hair at my roots and then very dry, dry, dry ends. So I have combination hair and it sucks <laughs> because um, I can't really get a moisturizing shampoo and I can't really get a dry shampoo. So, I, you, I always go for ultra volume shampoos because those are meant to kind of lift your hair up and not make it limp like a, um, like a buttery shampoo would do for oily hair. So this is an ultra volume shampoo for fine limp hair. So it lifts hair that's typically oily up. Um, which is why I get it, but I must say, this is not a shampoo you would want to use if you have extremely dry hair and you don't struggle with oily uh, roots because it is a drying shampoo. I will put that out there, but I do use a conditioner that um, kind of counteracts that for my ends, and I only use the conditioner on the ends. So um, I mainly use this for my roots and then I use my conditioner for the rest of my hair. But this is one of the only shampoos that keeps the oil out of my hair for one day. And then I went through this Alba Botanica Hawaiian Conditioner. Um, this is a drying conditioner. I wouldn't recommend it. I was not a huge fan of it, honestly. Um, it is for dry hair and I discovered I shouldn't be using a drying conditioner when I'm using a drying shampoo. So um, I currently switched over to a more um, moisturizing shampoo for dry hair. A moisturizing conditioner for dry hair and um, I like it so much better than this. But this smells amazing. I must say I freaking love the way this smells. So if you have like oily hair all around, definitely use this as a conditioner because I would say that it's a good one. And my next empty products is my favorite, favorite uh, toothpaste ever. It is the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint All-in-One Toothpaste, 70% uh, organic ingredients versus like the 
uh, 10% not organic ingredients in all of the traditional toothpaste. Um, there is no animal bone or anything in this one, so you are not killing or hurting any animals while using this toothpaste. Um, and it's made out of recycled plastic, so yeah. I don't know, there's just so many good things. This brand is one of my favorite brands ever. They you know how most brands think only about money. This brand thinks about every single way to make money while not hurting the environment, not hurting animals or people. And it's just, um, I feel like if it doesn't even taste any different than regular toothpaste, so why not just make the switch over to this toothpaste if um, even if you're not vegan even if you don't if it's gonna better the environment in any way I would just make the switch over to this toothpaste because it works wonders I love it um, it works just as good as any traditional toothpaste if not better for me um, it whitens too I've noticed my teeth um, so yeah um, if you're in the market for a new toothpaste and you don't want to use the one with all those chemicals in it or anything, then uh, check out the Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. And it wouldn't be an empties video if I didn't include this product. The Yes to Carrots Nourishing Facial Cleanser from Target. It is my absolute favorite facial cleanser that will, honestly, I don't think ever change. Um, there's no need for me to try any other facial cleanser because this works so well for me. I will do a little close-up of my skin right now. Um, I don't have any, like, pimples. Like, I don't have any serious pimples. I don't really have anything wrong with my skin right now. Um, that's for more than one reason, though. I would give most of the credit to my diet and then I would give the rest of the credit to this and my, uh, face moisturizer. Um, yeah, this just, I don't know. This is a natural face product. I use it every night to remove my makeup and every morning just to wash my face. And it just, it has aloe vera, carrot seed oil, just like really, really good ingredients and truthfully does make a huge difference in your skin. So if you're in the market for some good skincare, definitely check this product out. And my next empties is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This has also been in all of my past empties. Friggin' love this mascara. There's nothing better than this, I swear. Some people don't like it, but I absolutely love it. And the brush looks like this. It kind of swoops in in the middle and then turns into a fatter end on both ends. Um... And that is because it is a volumizing and lengthening mascara. So it does both extremely well. As you guys know, I have extremely long eyelashes to begin with. Um, but, yeah. It still volumizes my uh, lashes more than any mascara ever did and ever probably will. If there's a new vegan... Um, mascara that you think that I should try that is like amazing at doing both like this is please let me know like leave that in the comments below because I would love to try like new mascaras and stuff but I also don't really feel the need to because this is just so amazing <laughs> but for your guys for you guys' sake I will try any product you want me to try as long as it's vegan so let me know and my last empties is the Ardell uh, Glamour Multi-Pack uh, Lashes. So I very, very rarely ever wear lashes, but I do wear them for like very special occasions. Um, I do wear them for filming sometimes. Um, but I'm just not a lash person really, just because I have really long lashes to begin with. But I will use them for the volume effect that it gives and the fullness effect that it gives. And I also like using them because of the little black band that it comes with. Sometimes you don't need to apply eyeliner if you're wearing false lashes because it kind of gives that effect that you're wearing it already. So that's pretty cool about them. 
Um, props to people who wear them every day. Props to people who uh, can go through that process. To me, it's a very aggravating process and it's a... Uh, um, insane process for me. I'm not very good at applying them with the glue and everything. Um, I somehow always manage to pull out my eyelashes. So um, yeah, that's just like not my thing, but I did go through a pack of them. I've had this pack granted for like two years, but yeah, I went through a pack of them and they, um, they're really, really pretty lashes. Um, and they're pretty easy to apply. I will say they have a very thin band and you can get these at like Target or Wal Walmart or Walgreens, really anywhere. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about these. They were, they were good lashes. They volumized my eyes. Um, I don't know if they're my favorite lash. I don't know if I have a favorite lash because I am not experienced with lashes at all. But um, yeah, they were, they were good. They did their job. <laughs> And the next empties I went through, I'm just going to include it in this month because um, it's like pretty much done. Like I can't even get to the bottom of it really at this point. Um, but it's the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. So they're Rose Water Spray. Um, it's, it smells amazing. It smells so fresh. Um, but Mario Badescu is not cruelty free or... Maybe they are vegan, but they're not cruelty-free, so I will not be buying. And the difference between cruelty-free brands and vegan brands, um, if I've said this in previous videos, but cruelty-free means that they do not test their ingredients or their products on animals. And to be vegan means that there is no animal product ingredients in the product. So... Um, this company tests on animals, but their ingredients in this product may not contain any animal products. But because they test on animals to begin with, why would you buy something from them? Well, why would I buy something from them if either way, whether or not their product contains any animals, animals are still getting hurt. So that is why I only buy cruelty-free and vegan products because I think it's very important to kind of know what companies are doing behind the scenes and would not want people to know. Uh, they kind of manipulate their customers in that way and I won't stand for it. So yes, I will not be repurchasing from Mario Badescu. Um, there's plenty of vegan and cruelty-free setting sprays that are better than this anyways. Honestly, this is more of like a refreshing spray, I would say. It didn't keep your makeup on any, any longer. My favorite setting spray right now is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is cruelty free and vegan. So there you go. A lot of people use it. It's a very, very, very popular uh, setting spray and there's a reason for it. It works. It's refreshing and it keeps your makeup on all night. So check that one out and that'll do it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, so glad to be back. So glad to get this empties video up for you guys. Um, there are a lot more videos coming, more in-depth content. I really want to get um, a video up talking about um, like real things, not really about products. But I want to start talking. I want to make a video about cruelty-free versus vegan. I just gave you a very short summary about it in this video, but I do want to do a full video based on that um, because I think a lot of people are confused about it and I just kind of want to clear the air. Um, I also want to start talking about my diet because a lot of you are asking me about that um, ever since my ankle injury and all of that and um, I want to make a video on um, Oh my god, there's so many things. But these are the videos that I think I'm going to be making coming up next. I want to make a video about disappointing products. Um, I always do like products that, like monthly products, ones that I loved, and I tell you when I don't like something. But I want to do just a disappointing product video so that you guys like don't go out and buy these products and you can save your money. Um, it is a little bit of a negative video, I will say, because they are disappointing. But at the same time, I feel like it could be very helpful to you guys. And I know that a lot of people do watch those videos in general. So I want to do one of those. I also want to do a lip swatch video. 
like a fall lips lip swatch video. I am wearing one of my fall lipsticks right now and I'm so excited. Uh, fall season is here and I am so ready to start wearing all the fall colors and the, the clothes and everything. I gotta go to Savers and Goodwill and see if I can find some good like long sleeve clothes because I really don't have anything. Um, this shirt is from last year and I love it. Um, I, I love off the shoulder long sleeve shirts. They're like my favorite things in the entire world. So yeah. There's just like a lot of good things coming and I'm getting so like distracted and just like off topic because I'm so excited right now. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you very soon and yeah. You guys are the best. I am almost at a thousand subscribers and I can't friggin' believe it. Literally cannot believe it. Without even really posting much in the past two months. It's just crazy. And I owe you guys a ton of videos and they are coming. <sighs> I just love you guys so much. Alright, so please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.